Brain Tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, which is version 101, and this latest release started rolling out on the 26th of April, 2022. Now for the average home user uh, in version 101, there's not too much of interest to actually mention and report on in this video. And if you are the average home user, you're not going to see too much visually changed or any major new features. Most of the uh, new features are for developers, which is going on behind the scenes. And over and above that, um, we always get the bug fixes and numerous security updates which roll out with every version update, which I will do and post in a separate video as I will focus on what's new in this video. And then a short while later, I will post the second video regarding the bug fixes and security fixes as the video will just become too long if I try to put it all into one video. Now, as mentioned, um, there's not too much going on for your average home user, but there are a couple of flags available in version 101 if you would like to test and just experiment on. Um, these do enable some features, uh, uh, which I have actually posted on each individual flag when they were still being tested in Google Chrome Canary. But uh, just to summarize, if you are interested to try these out, you can just head up to the Omnibox, the address bar, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and we have four flags that you can try out in version 101 those are tab group save add passwords in settings password notes in settings and enable the download bubble and just to go through these very quickly as i mentioned i have posted on these previously uh, tab group save enables users to explicitly save and recall tab groups and that's if you right click add tab to new group you'll see here uh, there's a little toggle called save group if you toggle that on that will pop that in the book uh, bookmarks bar like any uh, normal bookmark which you can come back to at a later stage click on that and it'll just recall that tab group like any other bookmark you save in the bookmarks bar and then the next two are pertaining to uh, the password manager that's built into the browser add passwords in settings enables manual password adding in settings and the second is enables a note section for each password in the settings page and that's password notes in settings and if we just head to the password manager as mentioned the first adds that little toggle which where you can manually add a password from a site um, which i have featured as mentioned in a previous video and then the second is uh, you can just click on the more actions edit password and in that fly out menu now that appears you will see a notes section where, as an example, you can just maybe add a, a reminder regarding a security question or something um, pertaining to the password, uh, pertaining to that relevant website that the password is safe for, just as an example. So those are two new uh, flags you can try out for the password manager. And then the fourth and final flag is enable download bubble. Enables the download bubble instead of the download shelf. And as mentioned, uh, this is very uh, similar um, as I have posted previously to the download hub you would find in the Edge browser. And this is ultimately going to remove the download shelf at the bottom where you see your progress indicator and your downloads uh, in Google Chrome. And what it'll do when you're downloading, it'll pop a little bubble or hub here in the top right of the toolbar, which will have an indicator in a circle. And you can also click on that, which will give you the progress uh, the size of the download and you can also click on show in folder which will actually take you to the actual download folder so that's more or less um, what I think home users on, on this channel would find of interest but if you are a developer and um, there is a origin trial uh, these are origin trials that um, Google is uh, testing uh, up until version 104 of the Chrome web browser so these will be on origin trials up until version 104 rolls out which means that developers can build and test upon them basically until they actually roll out. Now, just to mention this very quickly and as quickly as I can, um, I posted a whole lot of videos over the last couple of months regarding Google's Flock, which stands for Federated Learning of Cohorts. And basically, this is Google's attempt to get rid of all third-party tracking cookies. And Flock basically tracks um, individual users uh, their browsing habits um, and then pops them into groups and then obviously google will send you the relevant advertising pertaining to your um, your browsing habits in those actual groups now 
this was met with a lot of criticism and controversy, mainly from other web br browser makers like Brave, DuckDuckGo, Vivaldi, Microsoft Edge, uh, where they basically blocked Flock uh, in uh, their browsers. And then Google basically discontinued the uh, feature. Now, with version 101, as I mentioned, that's um, basically now on an origin trial up until version 104 for developers, is now there's uh, two new advertising systems that Google is trying out. The first is Topics, and the second is Fledge. Now, Topics, um, and I hope I get this right to try and explain it to you, um, is basically um, uh, runs locally uh, in the Google Chrome web browser and determines topics of interest based on your browsing history. And then these interests are stored locally in the browser itself for three weeks. And then when you visit a site, three of the interests are revealed to the site um, in question and its advertising partners. And that's the way they will push the advertising out to you. And then the second, as mentioned, is Fledge. And basically uh, this uh, moves, and this is quote unquote by Google, this moves the interest data and the final ad decision to the local browser once again. And Google says that this technique will address core privacy concerns while giving advertisers enough data to uh, display advertisements that basically are of interest to users of the Google Chrome web browser. Now I can already see that this is gonna be met with a lot of controversy and criticism. And once I get more information and more information becomes available, I will post accordingly. So that's it for version 101. Um, not too much else going on just those flags, a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes for developers. And um, as mentioned, I'm going to post a second video shortly um, where I will discuss the bug fixes and the security updates. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.